for the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there As is pay, no man better sir, suited I to beg the task. Leave to assure really? The Congress that I can no think of several. Consideration could have Charles Lee. Have accepted this arduous employment at the do I know you? I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> Come, Connor, to there's someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away Those like that, I doubt but not they the will last thing we need is that the is two of you desire. coming to blows. Now, Connor... Allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. Now, lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Follow me. Hello guys, Conflict Looms. Now you just have to follow the scout over to General Putnam. And from there on, we will get some new missions, and we will get uh, three, yeah, three different um, optional objectives later on in the mission to get full synchronization. So now we just have to ride on and just follow him. He's sometimes going slow and sometimes going fast, so just keep on with him. And it's right up here on the hill, on actually on the bunker hill, which will be the next um, mission. And the last mission in sequence 7. So this is the second last one. Yay! And actually, this mission can be pretty tough to achieve full synchronization on. If you don't know what to do. And that's the big problem. You need to know what to do. <laughs> it's actually... That's actually it. If you know what to do, it's a piece of cake. But now we are here and General Putnam is right over here. I was just looking if I saw any red coats over there. City with no reason to leave. As long as that ship continues its assault, we'll never flush him out. But if the ship was silenced, well, then poor John might be forced to get off his arse and come forward. I shall fly this flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral. No one really. I uh, think uh, 
Connor can do anything. But okay, now we have to get to the ships without getting any damage at all. That's the optional objective on this first part of the mission. Okay. Stay in motion and we will not get hurt. I don't know how I don't get damage sometimes, but apparently I don't do. So first we just have to run, keep on running through the city to get down to the docks. And if you can, when you're getting close to buildings, a lot of uh, branches and stones and rocks will fall down and cannonballs as well. So just try to stay away from them and stay away from all the red dots on the map because I think they can shoot you. So I haven't been damaged yet. So we'll just continue going until we reach the docks. Those guards were at least standing with the backs towards me. And now we're really clo close. So we just have to swim over to the chips. We are going to destroy. And that's the whole plan on this mission. But I fail as the first try so suddenly I would just stop swimming because I'm cutting the video. Don't have to put in the um, part where I'm failing and trying to find a route. So we have to air assassinate an um, grenadier and not be detected on any of the two ships. The ship on the right side is quite easy because you only have to kill one guy to plant a bomb. On the other ship we have to kill all of them including an air assassination on a grenadier. And that's the toughest part because you can easily be spotted while doing the air assassinations because you have to do two of them because and there's two guards standing together and two guards standing together is impossible to take them out except from air assassinations. Well, while they are standing and looking at each other you cannot go and kill one of them from the back without being detected and there's also this guy going around this grenadier and that's actually the guy with the kilt on my left right now so you can just take out the guy on the right right here that's what I try to do and you saw my, me taking out the first guy on all the way on the left that was alone this is the grenadier so we have to wait for him to get him from an air assassination so when he, while he is over there we can take out this guy because he will not spot us taking him Okay, then it's four guys left on the ship. It's, it's this guy we have to take out now. And we have to take out him while the Grenadier is as far away as possible. So there will be a lot of waiting right here. Because the Grenadier is actually kind of good at noticing us killing him. You have to be aware he is now, but you have to, st you have to stand still over there and looking out on the sea. Because unless he will actually spot us. And if the place is standing right now, he will hear us killing this guy. So I was waiting and he just moved, but I also got spotted while he was just going a little bit further. And we have to kill this guy by jumping on the uh, this um, this fence and then kill him. Small air assassination. Okay, this time he doesn't match either. Because he's walking there and this guy's coming now. But the grenadier is still there. And that is not good for taking him out. I think we only have to wait one more round, or it might get be two round rounds for this guy we are going to kill. Let's see. If he could hurry a little bit, it might work, but no. He's standing there for so long. So it won't be possible. Because the grenadier such move there and he will possibly spot us so we have to wait for one, one more round to get him to match each other's uh, routines on the ship because they're always going the same way the same speed but they're going different routes so they'll be at the set they will not be at the same place at the same time all the time okay now the grenadier is in the perfect spot for killing this guy then jump down on him and oh shit 
and uh, we can get um, after both actually because we have to take out the two guys on the opposite side of the boat first and we have to do that with an air assassination and the easiest way is to climb up in the mast right next to them so let's see let's manage to jump out here and then we can just swim over to their side and they will stand with their backs against this side where are on now so we can easily just climb up there as long as the grenadier does not spot us so let's see there he is so we just wait for him to leave and as soon as he goes we can cl begin climbing climb up now because no one is going to spot us so we'll just get up to this first uh, thing here and we have to get over to that and yeah we got up in there quite easily and start on this place because it can get uh, kind of bugged when you're going to kill them and you have to time this perfectly because the grenadier as I said is he, uh, he actually has uh, quite a good hearing so he will you have to wait for him until he almost reached the other shadow over there just like now we can jump and kill both of them and get off the ship really quick and until the grenader sees us because now he actually could have spotted us if the place is right now and as the first arcan objective we have to kill this grenadier from the air and there's only one way to do that we have to climb up the mast and let's see how that is going because you have to stay away from us while we are climbing and now he would have spotted us so we have to wait for him to pass and turn it back against us then we can climb up like now there we can go up and come on start climbing I don't really like climbing in this I've fallen down too many times and yeah there's a quite a big problem actually getting up on that other thing so we have to go on the other side you just won't get over to it so we have to go on the yes come on we have to go on the other side still not working why can't you just oh come on so we go around on the other side and then we can go over there so i wasted a long time here um it won't work i have no idea why that's why i hate climbing in this because there's a lot of bugs in this climbing try to jump over there and it's just stand there in the air so come on go to the other side please a oh, long time would actually waste her okay this is working no that's not that's working and then we can go over there come on finally and then there's there he is and boom that's the Air assassination on a grenade and then we just have to remain undetected on both ships. But there's no one else here, so just plant a bomb and get the hell out of there. Yeah, at least at, oh we get ten seconds and that's quite good we have that time. And then it's over to the other ship. Where we only have to kill one guy to get safely to the bombing to the bomb plant without being detected there's only one guy that actually can or it's two guys that can spot us and one of them can almost all the time see you but the other one can only see you at one point of his route and he's usually using a long time in that route so we have to kill the guy that's going to stand over here and you can see the guy on the left I could have killed him now right now because he's behind those uh, barrels and shit over there but I should have done that so I wouldn't waste it all this time again but no because the guy on the right he actually have a really long route to get back here because he's going all the way back uh, on the ship so we have to wait for him and hopefully the timing will be great between the two guys that are actually um, going on a route that's not standing still. Well, here we go. He's coming. There he is, and the guy on the left, he finally goes away, and then we can just kill him. Like this. No one will notice. 
Then we just have to go over to the bomb. Let's see. And the only thing we have to be careful about is the guy on the left. So, and he can actually spot you after you planted it while you're going to run away. So we just have to wait for him to stand there. And as soon as he turns around, we can go. Like, there. Go, go, go. Just go carefully over to the bomb. Get it planted. And then get the heck out of here too. Just jump off and wait. And then we, after that, we have completed the, all the optional ob objectives. And then I was going to die. Unfortunately, now all the guards are back again. Because I was climbing the mast to replace the ship's flag. But the climbing bug and I fell down and desynchronized. Unfortunately, because now all the guards are back. But I was so mad for falling down all the way from the top of the mast because Connor did not want to actually hang on in anything. He just fell down, just out of sudden. So I had to climb up again. But none of the guards actually spotted me. That's great. We only have to do change uh, flag on one of the two ships. So it's no matter which which one you're choosing. But I was closest to this one, so I just decided to I decided to choose it. And then you have to jump up here. Try not to fall down. Because that's the place I fell down. And then we are on top and the mission is over, so I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.